meet and greet uh, that President Trump carried out. Now, we have heard, you know, from White House staffers that this was cleared by the medical professionals uh, at Walter Reed. It, it does rather seem strange, though, that, that there would be no other person in the world to be able to get medical sign-off on an event like that other than the US president. And to put his Secret Service at risk in the service of what was essentially a vanity run. You know, there, there are two simple lenses generally for understanding almost everything President Trump does. It's either self-aggrandizement or self-preservation. This was clearly about self-aggrandizement. Self and the problem with that is you've had this whole week of news in the US. It began with um, the release of his tax returns in the New York Times that showed that he had been a bumbling businessman running money losing operations for decades. He can't really contest that with spin. You go in the debate on Wednesday with Joe Biden, he's asked to disavow white supremacy and he can't, he won't go there. A president who's been fomenting both bigotry and racism throughout his tenure. And then on Friday, this pandemic that he's essentially poo-pooed or denied comes right into his home, essentially. Um, so you've got these three major events in the course of one week where reality is washed up to his doorstep. And his default in all of this is to try to go for sizzle and appearances and spin. And it's just, it's a very dangerous line for him to be towing right now, both in terms of his own health, but also in terms of his standing with the American public. Tim, br briefly, if you can, because we're just about to run out of time. Um, we don't have the information to suggest that this was a, a near-death experience for Donald Trump. What we can say is that it was a very, certainly a, a serious medical incident requiring him to go to, to, to Walter Reed. Do you, having studied the man, think that this will have any lasting impact on his personality, his politics? Absolutely not. Donald Trump is a 74-year-old man. He's been this way for probably the last 60 years. Uh, he is who he is. Uh, he doesn't apologize. He doesn't change course.